Hello and welcome to this overview of Reason. Reason is one of the most user-friendly music production packages around. It's been around for a few years. It's now got to the stage where it's a really fully capable music production environment. When it started out, it was a rack of instruments. Uh, that rack's been added to over the years. And as well as that, you've now got tons of new features like audio recording, sampling, advanced effects, advanced synthesis, uh, and a very cool mixer. What we're going to have a look at in this overview is some of the fundamentals of Reason, how it fits together, what it can do, how it can let you make music. And in the more expanded tutorials, we'll go into a lot more depth about how it all works and how it's put together. You can see that uh, Reason has lots of different sections. Down the bottom here is the sequencer. In the center is the rack with nothing in it yet because we haven't started. And up at the top is the mixer section. Now this is a default bare bones project, but as soon as you get started with Reason, you'll start to fill these up really quickly. And in order to make that a little bit easier to work with, these sections can all be moved around and dragged up and down like this. You can also split windows off using the window menu. So if you've got a very big screen or if you've got dual monitors, you can take your windows and put them anywhere you want. And that makes it a little bit more fun to use. Although Propellerhead has made it quite nice to work with even just on a single screen. So all credit to them for that. As well as just doing MIDI, which it's always been able to do, Reason can now record full audio tracks. And it has some really interesting features that we look at in the audio recording sections including the ability to automatically time stretch any audio that you import or record. And the reason that that's cool is because MIDI projects have always been able to adapt themselves to whatever project tempo you set. So if you start a project at 120 BPM, and then you decide a bit later on that actually it would sound better at 115 or 125, MIDI has always been able to automatically fix itself to reflect that change but audio has been trickier to work with. But thankfully, in Reason, anything that you record will automatically follow those changes. So you don't really have to do anything. Reason supports uh, MIDI tracks, it supports Rex loops, and it supports the import and export of audio as well as recording. It has a greatly expanded mixer section, which is really professional to use. It's got advanced channel strips, with built-in dynamics, if I just scroll up here, uh, multiple insert and send slots, quick controls. Uh, on the master bus, there is a master bus compressor, uh, which is a really nice way to apply very gentle compression over your whole mix and glue everything together. Uh, you'll see in the advanced tutorials how that can really help just bring everything together at the end. When you finish balancing all your tracks, it just puts a nice sheen over everything. Reason's also able to batch export your files, and that's really flexible. Uh, you can do that in different ways. So you can export your files as stems for mixing somewhere else. Of course, you can export a simple stereo mix down. Uh, you can also export with and without effects, and that's all easy to automate. So even if you've got a really complicated project, you can just tell Reason you want it to export in a certain way and then you can hit the button and go off and have a cup of tea and when you come back it will all be done. So let's have a look at some of Reason's best features and let's start uh, with the rack. <laughs> 